Roxia! Planter! Just 19 years old. The sky is absolutely the limit for this young woman. You talk about the name Prodigy, you think Bryce Harper, you think Zion Williamson, you think Connor McDavid, and in pro wrestling, you think Roxy. This is a woman who has wrestled uh, at a high level here in Ring of Honor. She was in the first ever match in Ring of Honor history right. as far as women go. They had to beat two number ones and two number twos to get to the tournament final and, and to win the tournament. That's what Roxy would have to do. Whereas Sumi, I think, is more your traditional number one seed. She will need some clutch shots and some clutch moves. She cannot nice. afford any mistakes here against an opponent, the caliber of Sumi Sakai, who has her in the guard here. It would be interesting if Sumi could get inside the head of Roxy. We, Roxy has had that tunnel vision. She was just 13 years old when she started taking a bus, a Greyhound bus, to see wrestling and to go train to wrestle. As he's looking for a, a Kimura here, she's got that double wrist lock trying to bend it behind the back. And that's what Sumi can do. She's got you thinking one way as a two count there. And goes to the other, looking for the cross arm nice. breaker. Nice. Transition from the key to the cross arm. And good job right there by Roxy being aware of where she is in the ring and able to make it to the ropes to force the She ring. knows how to stay away from people, when to move in. This is a young veteran. Look at that. Oh, great counter. Yeah. Mexican style takeover from Roxy. Oh, oh my oh. God. She into the midsection. Two. Two count there. The winner of this match in three weeks' time will take on the winner of Mandy Leon versus Quinn McKay. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Roxy has 26 matches this year during the pandemic. Uh, among the most of anyone, not just in the tournament, but anywhere really in wrestling in the United States Ooh. this year. Oh, you think about it. Sometimes people say, oh, I've been wrestling this many years, this many years, but it, it really accounts to how many matches you've had. Wow, and there is that Lucha influence who is trained in Texas, mm. fires in with a running European uppercut, sweeping the leg. And look at that confidence, yeah. the movement, the poise of Roxy. <laughs> Brings her to the middle of the ring, two. Just a two there. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that, trapping the leg. Able to pick the ankle now into a half grab. grab. Yeah, that's the that's the advantage that Sumi has over a lot of female wrestlers. That MMA background, you can look up YouTube matches of Sumi Sakai fighting, forcing her to fight toward the ropes here, catching the arm. That's the experience of Sumi Sakai right there, realizing that Marant that excuse me that Roxy was making her way toward the ropes, trapped that arm, and able to keep that pressure on. Sumi Sakai, who has Roxy down. Now look for a full crab, caught, the ankles are caught, two! That's what's frustrating about a lot of these young guys, like if I'm wrestling somebody young, I pull out something old school, but then if they know it, it's like, wow, this guy studies. And that's the same way Roxy is. Oh! Oh! And Sumi, who is used to the fans, used to the crowd, they've called her the ray of sunshine here in Ring of Honor, but not afraid to dig into the oh! Ooh, bag of dirty tricks. Gonna force her to use it here if she gets the clover leaf. Just elongating it, oh God! That lower back again. Roxy, do you get it? And Roxy is a long way from oh. the ropes. Oh. And cinching it in, sitting in, and readjusting the grip. And that's the veteran presence of Sumi as Roxy is fighting at Klong and finally gets to the bottom rope. Testing her wheel. That will destabilize your core, your lower back. Oh. She's staying on that neutralizing Roxy. And right now, you can't argue with the success that Sumi's having, but a nice right hand there from Roxy. And Sumi Sakai charging in, back elbow catches Sumi. Wow, that's press off the second rope, and now just firing away on Sumi. Fired up, ducks that right hand. Catches it, knee, Sumi to the forehead Roxy there. Roxy Irish reversed by Sumi Sakai off the rope, ducks the right. It's Roxy around the world, head scissors, no. Side rush and leg sweep, yes! Floats over, pin hooks the leg, two, three, oh, just a two count wow. there. But that shows me something, that frustration is she's still moving towards Sumi. Neck breaker connects, hangs on, looking for another, but Sumi out of it, waist lock into a back suplex, a Saito suplex, plants Roxy. Something dangerous running through the mind of Sumi Sakai right now. Sumi trying to fight to maintain position. Oh, ooh. Knee to the jaw, and again. Oh! oh! Roxy has Sumi out. Up to the top rope. Roxy! Plants her! Gets her! Two! Ooh. I want a counter! Two. Two. Two count there from Sumi Sakai. Both women have hit some high impact moves as of late. Sumi's trying to put it away. Fisher Woman Buster got it! Roxy's in deep water here. Back press is coming. Two! Hit! 
Ooh. Just a two count there. I, I expected Roxy to give Sumi a fight, but I was not expecting it to be yeah. this back and forth. Oh, yeah. drops down. Two. Oh, that was close. Sumi was going for a finisher there. Roxy even countered that. Roxy studies. Roll Sumi through. One, That's it. She's two. trapped. She's trapped. She's trapped. She's trapped. She's she trapped. Got her. She just beat her. She just beat a former champion. The winner of this match advancing to the quarterfinals of the tournament, Roxy. We said that she couldn't make a mistake. We said she needed to take advantage of every opportunity, and Roxy did. Is that an upset? Like, you know, I hate to throw the word upset around. And what? I, I don't think Roxy thinks it's an upset. Wow!